So one of the hurdles that you need to cross as a migrant who wants to get permanent residency in the UK or want to get their British citizenship is to pass an exam or a test called the Life in the UK test. Unless you're less than 18 years old or you're above 65 years old or you have a mental condition that will not allow you to be able to write the test or maybe you've already passed it for permanent residency application and now you're applying for citizenship so you might not need it. But other than that, you need to write this exam as part of your application to get your British permanent residency or citizenship. The test is about 45 minutes, but guys, it took me only about 12 15 minutes to pass the exam with so much ease it looks complex but it's very very simple and in this video i'll show you all the tips that you need to pass with ease as well honestly after watching this video you might actually book it tomorrow oh yeah so stay tuned Stop that. <laughs> Hi guys, welcome once again to my channel. My name is Anel Griselda. On this channel, I talk about migrating to the UK, life in the UK as an immigrant, and then, you know, opportunities for people to relocate abroad. So if these are topics that interest you, please do consider subscribing. So what is a life on the UK test anyway? So this is a computer-based test that assesses your knowledge on British history, British laws, traditions, and policies, and British political system, okay? So it's actually about 24 multiple choice questions, and then you have 45 whole minutes to answer these questions. And the pass mark is 75%, meaning meaning you have to get 18 out of the 25 questions right and then that's you passed. Currently it costs about £50 and thankfully it is not part of the things that they increased recently and there's absolutely no expiration okay so you can actually sit for it today even if you are due to apply for a permanent residency in 10 years time. So far as once you pass and then you get that code which is like a reference number you make sure you keep it safe somewhere so that when the time is due for you to apply for your citizenship or your permanent residency you would only need to provide the reference number from when you pass the test and then that's it okay so you can even if you're just coming to the uk and you hope to apply for your permanent residence in the future after this video if you think you're ready you can actually book okay the only thing is you have to make sure you're booking at least three days prior another thing is you can reset as many times as you need okay so if you don't pass this time around it's not like you have only two more chances you can reset for as many times as you want so let me give you an example of how the exam looks like i've actually done a video about this but let me just quickly show you how the questions look like okay and then i'll take you through what i did to pass okay so this is a typical example like who built to the Tower of London. There is William the Conqueror, there's been Victoria, Queen Elizabeth I, Oliver Cromwell. When does Easter take place? Um, November or December, January or February, March or April, May or June. You need to buy a TV license if there are no TVs in your house, but you watch TV programs on your mobile phone. So this is also an example. We all know the answer are true, right? So these are some examples of how the questions look like and you're going to get 25 of these and you have to get 18 of them right. So for the first tip that I'll give you is we have like a life in the UK handbook honestly if you ask me how the book looks like the color of the pages i will not be able to because i have no idea i did not purchase this book and you do not have to purchase this book okay but i have a lady at my workplace a friend at work she and her family they recently got their british permanent residency and the only resource that they used to pass was the life in the uk handbook okay they bought one copy they read it they go and write they pass it has everything that you need to know about the questions that you're going to encounter in the life in the uk test okay so it's like the official handbook i'll leave the price on the screen because i'm not sure as of now that i'm filming so it covers all the essential topics that should be asked questions on in the test what i will advise is that as you are reading the book right you highlight the key points that is difficult for you to remember or you have a, a notebook and a pen where there's some of the tricky ones that's difficult to keep in your mind you just write it down so that before your test you can actually go over it because some of the things are very easy to remember like what date is halloween when is easter but there are some that are a bit tricky that you might easily forget so those ones like the years and who invented this which year was what what war those ones you can write them down but for people like me if you're like me and you have so much on your hands like as a wife as a mother as a full-time nurse as a content creator as an influencer whatever and you have no time to take a book and flip page one page, page two page three then maybe the next tip is for you so this video is probably sponsored by lemfi yes lemfi you can send money using lemfi if you're in the uk canada or the us so about 10 different african countries with no transfer charges absolutely no transfer charges and it's a known fact that lemfi has the best rates when it comes to transferring money with lemfi you actually get value for your money and the person gets the money almost immediately when you send it you can send money from uk canada or the us using lemfi to ghana nigeria benin tanzania rwanda cameroon senegal ivory coast with zero fees honestly zero fees ever since i discovered it that's what myself and my family have been using and it's been very reliable i've never had any issues with it and even if you have any issues your customer support is going to sort out your issues immediately you can download lemfi whether you use an android whether you use an ios with a link in the description and for your first transfer above 100 pound if you use the 
your referral code Nanel, you get 10% of the money you're transferring back. Yes, 10% cash back. So when you say 100 pound, you get 10 pound back. When you say 200 pound, you get 20 pound back. And even after that, you can generate your own referral code and you know share with your friends and family, your group chats. And then anytime somebody uses your code, you get a referral bonus as well. Yes. So don't forget to send money using my referral code. Okay. Thank you so much, Lenfi, for sponsoring today's video. So the second tip I'll say, which is what I did, is to practice several mock questions you know so there are several websites and apps that give you questions that you're likely to encounter on the test day or at the test center about life in the uk some of these apps are free and the ones that are not free to they are quite affordable um i think less than five pounds you can purchase it and then you own it forever and then you can go through the more questions i have about four different apps and i made sure that i solved all these questions on these apps i'm talking about thousands of questions but to me that was the most effective way to learn because if you ask me who invented this and I get it wrong the next moment when I'm reviewing the answers I know that oh it was this person who invented this okay and now it's in my head and I honestly believe that with a life in the UK test there's actually a pool of questions on the day I mean what more can they ask you aside the things that are in the you know the book and these questions are questions about every essential thing that you're likely to be asked and with all the 25 questions that i encountered there was only one question that i had not seen before all the remaining 24 questions i had solved them somewhere in apps or on different websites some of them were worded differently some of them slight changes but the same thing okay so to me this was the most effective way so this helps you to build your confidence especially when you're solving you know mock tests with same format okay you have 25 questions and let's say you, you start getting 22 23 24 you know you know that oh, okay you're actually getting there when it gets to the test that you're likely to get the pass mark okay some of the apps allow you to flag the questions that are a bit tricky and you keep getting wrong so you can go over those ones again okay these are the four apps that i used and this will be my favorite app life in the uk this is how it looks like okay so it has 45 different tests of 25 questions each and i solved all of them as you can see it says i solved 45 or 45 tests completed okay and then what i like about this particular app is the cheat sheet they are not sponsoring today's video honestly but i really like it cheat sheet okay so it gives you the key facts about the life in the uk test so you don't have to read the entire book this gives you the key things that you need to sort of like have in your mind okay if you look at the way it looks it's very easy and then once you answer the questions as well it gives you the opportunity to view an explanation as to why you are correct or why you are wrong okay so that's my favorite app but i solved almost all the questions on all the four apps so you can imagine the number of questions i saw thousands but to me that was more effective than reading the book okay okay if you do not want to go through questions as well and you do not want to read as well tip three might be for you so for tip three it's on my people that would rather learn through watching things okay you're a visual person okay or audio visual suits you most i would say that you, you can actually get is it an audio of the life in the uk test i'll leave links to all these things in the description so as you are watching the dishes you'll be listening to british history or somebody will actually be reading the life in the uk book to you sort of like in your ears okay so for some people they prefer learning through that instead of looking on the phone or flipping through a book okay so if that is you i'll leave links to where you can get the audio version of the life in the uk handbook and then hopefully you'll be able to remember everything that you've listened to if yours is the visual part that videos on youtube but my favorite of them all is a youtube channel called tom bradford okay sometimes when i'm driving i could be listening you know through the speakers in my car how he explains the things in the life in the uk handbook he makes it so easy i do not know him i have no affiliation with him he's not sponsoring today's video but i just thought i should share it because he was very very valuable and resourceful so for those who want to listen or for those who want to watch i would recommend his youtube channel to you as well i'll leave the exact playlist in the description as well and for the last tip that is tip four i would say that you have to utilize online forums or groups okay obviously before i passed i consulted a few friends who had already passed and one lady she was like nanel there's a facebook group okay i'll leave this facebook group link also in the description they just discuss life in the uk they discuss some of the questions you know sometimes people like to get the opinions of others and when people say it it sticks more so if you're that kind of person as well always learn from online groups even if you are using the other tips that i have given i would still suggest you join the online group because prior to the exam when this friend gave me the link apparently somebody shared another link in the facebook group and this link took me to another website with a set of more tests and guys all the questions that i encountered were from this particular website i don't want to say it loud they were all there and it was from somebody who put it in the group randomly 
right with the exception of one question that i had not seen before everything else was there just that someone worded differently so people have different resources oh people have so when you are in a group sometimes it really really helps so that would be my last tip even if you're using the life in the uk handbook even if you're using the apps to solve more questions even if you're doing the audio version or the video version i'll still suggest you join the online group okay so now you know how i passed so for me what i did was i took one week leave because honestly i had not studied it and the questions looked too difficult because i i hate anything history like political like you know i don't like those things it's very difficult for me to keep dates and stuff in my mind and then i use that time to solve all these more questions okay and then i have this book okay so if i encounter things that were a bit more difficult to keep in my mind i would note it down so some days prior to the test that's what i went over for example in the parliament in northern ireland has 108 members and wales has 60 members scotland has 129 members the population of the uk in 1901 40 million in 1950 50 million in 1958 51 million you know how would i remember this so for those ones i wrote them down inventions the jet engine was invented in 1930 by Sir Frank Whistle. If I don't write it, I'll forget. So for those ones, as I was solving the more questions, I wrote them down. And then before my exam, I just went over to keep them in my mind, yeah. And even after the exam, I don't remember. If you ask me who invented the jet again, if not that I had just checked. <laughs> god forgive me when you go to the exam center obviously you have to arrive a bit earlier they'll take passport photo of you they'll search you to show that you don't have any foreign material on you they'll give you a locker where you put all your things there and then you know when it's time you can go and sit down and then write there's somebody there although it's computer based you have a computer in front of you and then you have a headpiece as well the first they'll give you some trial questions so that you know how to work with the computer about four trial questions and then once the trial questions end your main test will also start and then you can solve your questions if you have any issues you can raise your hand and then the person going around to attend to you when you're there you get an email with a reference number they don't really tell you you have passed but when you get the reference number and everything you know that yes you have passed so basically guys that's that congratulations you are now armed with helpful tips to ensure that you pass your life in the uk test with ease honestly remember that passing the test is not just about passing it or it's not just about achieving a specific score it's actually an opportunity to learn and understand the country that you intend to make your permanent home and you really feel a part because now you know about the country thank you bye